This is Anand Chimpy from AnandTech.com, and what we're about to see is the ASUS UEFI utility, uh, which is really the replacement to the BIOS on uh, ASUS's 6 series Sandy Ridge motherboards. So, this is one of the entry level 6 series P67 boards, but this interface in one shape or another is going to be on all of ASUS's Sandy Ridge motherboards, and you can expect to see this on uh, a number of non ASUS boards as, as well. MSI, everyone's really working on uh, their own UEFI interfaces. Uh, fundamentally, they'll all be very, very similar, but you'll see different skinning and different color schemes and, and some different options here and there. But, uh, but this, is, this is the way things are going. Um, starting with Sandy Bridge. So you'll see when I hit delete, uh, what we're brought to, instead of being thrown into the full-blown BIOS setup or UEFI setup, we, we've got this kind of uh, simple screen. The screen gives us access to boot devices. So you see here, I've got a Corsair SSD in here, um, and that's just one icon I can click. If I had more drives, I would have more icons here. I can get access to my boot menu. I also have some quick tuning features. Um, these are the same types of features that you have exposed within the setup. You know, you might have seen them in your in your BIOS setup, for example, uh, but I just have one-click access to them here. You also have some uh, other details like fan speed, voltage, temperature, current time, what CPU is in the system, so on and so forth. If we hit the Exit Advanced Mode button, we can actually quit out uh, either discarding or saving our changes, or we can go into Advanced Mode. Now, Advanced Mode is basically what you're used to seeing in a traditional motherboard BIOS. It's just, we now have a GUI interface. Uh, I've got a mouse, there's scroll wheel support. Um, you can see that there is a scroll bar, but there's no way to drag it, which is kind of frustrating. Um, and in terms of the actual options themselves, they work the same way they do in a normal BIOS. You kind of click and choose the option you want. There's full keyboard support as well, so if you don't want to use the mouse, you can use the keyboard, um, although this is obviously better optimized for a mouse. Uh, and all of the settings that you pretty much find in a, in a normal BIOS setup are all here. They just look a little prettier. Um, you can see that they've done, ASUS has done a little bit of skinning here, but it's not, uh, uh, it's not too much to make this unrecognizable for a, from a traditional BIOS. And I, and I think this is a good transitional sort of interface. What I would like to see going forward is for this to look more like a, a modern day website rather than just a, a text interface with buttons on it. But like I said, it's a, it's a good start, um, and it's very, very quick. So we posted some results in our Sandy Bridge review that just show from post to bootloader on these new UEFI setups. Or it's just significantly quicker than what we used to have on X58 and P55. And also navigating within the BIOS is very, very quick. The, the mouse support really helps with that. So with this, you're either going to love it or hate it. Um, it it, it kind of grew on me over time, and I can see you know, over the coming months, this being something that I would miss if I didn't have on all the motherboards. With that said, uh, please do check out our Sandy Bridge review, and uh, I hope this gives you a little bit of a preview of what you'll see when you guys get your Sandy Bridge systems.